is the water discharge from a large tank you can see the um, the picture here this is a large tank it is open the top surface this is open to the atmosphere it is filled with water you can see here uh, we take this is the this is the point one and that's actually the water height from the bottom so this is the bottom surface and the water is water level is five meter so from the outlet tap so this is the outlet tap it is actually at the bottom and this step this is open so initially it was not open and the water level it was five meter and then this is the tap it is and at the bottom of the tank if we open this then what will happen water is still uh, flowing through this uh, water tap so that's let's say this is the outlet now this is uh, a is more than rounded outlets so what is the um, this is actually the point one and this is point two right we need to determine you see uh, this the diameter of the tank it is kind of a circular tank so the diameter it is significantly higher than this diameter isn't it so that's something i actually we can keep in mind before solving this problem what we need to do is initially the fluid at rest it was raised surface and this was closed now then we opened it and the water is just going out through these outlets we need to determine what will be the maximum velocity here at this outlet so that means uh, if we say this is point on so pressure p on here velocity v on so here velocity is v2 pressure is p2 so we need to calculate what is the v2 that's what will be the maximum velocity here so um before going to solve these questions as usual uh, we will write down some assumptions so the assumptions is we're going to use the Bernoulli equations so as we are going to Bernoulli equations um, we'll, we'll tell that okay in this problem we have three types of energy flow kinetic and the potential energy so this problem it involves this three energy without any pumping or turbine or any kind of the frictional losses so that's um, good for you know the vernal equations we will take this point on this is the free surface okay the point one point one this is free surface okay and point two this is actually the you know the open to the atmosphere so this is we say open to the atmosphere right so the free surface means here it is actually the the pressure is atmospheric pressure p on at point two this is you know this is also you know atmospheric pressure because it is kind of you know uh, the, at this level the water is discharging into the atmosphere so we can say this is also the atmospheric pressure so p1 and p2 this is the atmospheric pressure right what i can do we uh, as i said we um, are going to use the Bernoulli equations here for maximum velocity so for point one and two we can write it is p1 you know rho g v on square 2g j1 the elevation p2 rho g b2 square 2g and j2 so as i said earlier um the pressure p1 and p2 we say this is the atmospheric pressure because the top surface this is open surface free surface so it is atmospheric pressure it is discharging water to the atmosphere so you can say this is also free surface here so kind of uh, as it is discharging the water to the atmosphere so we can say it is the atmospheric pressure so if it is atmospheric pressure if it is atmospheric pressure density gravity is going to stand we can cancel out these two terms now let's come to the the velocity this diameter it is significantly higher than this diameter so as we know we discussed earlier like we have a pipe it's become suddenly like this narrow so if the velocity is five meter here it should be like 
significantly higher than so if it is narrow the velocity will be higher so that we can say the velocity it will be maximum here but here compared to this velocity it is very negligible if i say the velocity here at this point is v1 it is v2 so v1 it will be you know it will be very small or in other words we can say v2 will be very large relative to this v1 because you, you can say uh, actually v1 this is the diameter is very large but this diameter is very small so here velocity will be maximum so what we can say we can ignore this velocity as it is very small compared to this v2 so we're trying to you know it's not zero but we're trying to simplify this problem because we need this velocity v2 now the z1 and the z2 um here when the z1 if i say uh if i say this is our coordinate the z coordinate so this point is zero so z equal zero here z1 we can um we can sorry this is here our point two so this is j2 and this is j1 so this point here it is a it is actually our point two so this is j2 so we can say the j2 actually it is zero here you know what i mean because this is we put this is the the reference level at the center of the outlet so j2 equal zero and j1 this is actually five meter the elevation so we got this expression is j1 equal v2 square over rho g 2g sorry so what i can write it down here we can write down is j1 it is equal v2 square over 2g but we're looking for the velocity v2 so if we solve it for v2 this is 2g j1 this is actually called the torricelli equations we may discuss it later so um the the expression is 2 into g is 9.8 and the j1 is um 5 meter so it will be 9.9 .9 meters so the maximum velocity the the water when the water is leaving this through this outlet at the bottom of the tank so the initial maximum velocity it will be 9.9 .9 meter per second so that's the the answer of this question so i believe you understand here how um we simplified these vernal equations um based on these given conditions so that's it and we'll discuss the theories during the lecture and then it will be more clear